hello to all my chismosas and welcome back to my channel if you are new here my name is sherry please do not forget to like this video share it comment how you feel about it and share it with everyone you know so they can keep up with what your girl is doing also of course if you do enjoy this video and you enjoy watching me do not forget to hit the subscribe button ring that notification bell so you can get notified every time I post a new video do not forget to make sure it is set to all so you can get all the cheese man and all the drama and all the day-to-day -day stuff that I'm serving you guys okay anyways you guys today I'm coming with you coming to you with another vlog um, I got a you know a handful of subscribers who are like come on give us some more life um, throw out some more vlogs out there so I'm like okay why not anyways you guys know I got my mom juice on deck and I've been going the right way yet so I dropped my son off at school this morning and of course it wouldn't be a normal day if something was forgotten so he forgot to wear his belt Sorry, you guys. I love just crap. It feels good when I crack my neck. So, anyways, he forgot to wear his belt. So, I have to bring him his belt. And then after that, I need to go to the pharmacy to fill some prescriptions. And hmm, from there, I don't know, you guys. I don't have anything planned from there. But late tonight we are today is friday late tonight we are leaving to go to la um we do have family out there my husband has family out there and he wants to buy an old school so like you know something project so him and my son can build so we're going to go pick up a car and while we are there we are going to eat some king taco duh and visit some family chill just have a little a little day out there and then come back tomorrow evening some that that evening so we don't want to spend a whole day we're not gonna spend the night we'll just come back late that night so yeah that should be fun and yeah I do have a another 99 cent store um, little mini haul coming for you guys but what's special about this haul is I want to give it away so I want to give it away to one of my subscribers so in that video I will be, be discussing discussing disgusting I will be discussing how you can enter that giveaway so make sure you watch it and stay tuned of course and yeah, oh yeah, you guys, when I went to go drop off my son at school, okay, so I am very involved, okay? You know, when I had a nine to five, when I didn't, now, you know, I'm, okay, I'm a mom of all, I'm a woman of all trades, period. I hustle where the, wherever the money is at, I'm at, okay? Whether it's doing lashes, um, making cups, making t-shirts, whatever I can do to contribute to my family, I'm on it to, I do it, okay? So, with that kind of life, it's a little busy, you know? But I always make sure I'm a mom first. So, if there's activities at my son's school, needs my son's school needs volunteers, if there's an issue, if there's something that I wanna, you know, um, let me know, I'm on it. So, today, there was, a yard duty like all his yard duties are hella cool okay and you know the school that my son goes to it's not God, I don't want to use this word don't judge me for using it I'm not judging no one okay because I'm far from perfect and I know where I came from and I still I am where I came from <laughs> I don't um, sugarcoat the way I talk the way I look the way I move I don't sugarcoat it you know for no one but you know I like anyone else should I adapt to my surroundings but my son don't go to school in the ghetto okay it's that when I first had my son when he started to go to school I knew that 
the ghetto neighborhoods he wasn't going to go to school in one because the ed you know this might be a debate you guys most people might disagree but i feel like the education that is offered in certain districts is not the best they don't give a shit okay teachers you know there's different districts where you see teachers going on strike than others so anyways i mean i support all teachers they pass down to all freaking teachers man because they have to have really have it in their heart to love and care for these kids to make it a career but anyways so anyway so the reason why i'm bringing up okay because in the area he's in is a good area so you know once the teachers and the yard duties kind of fill out what kind of person you are what kind of parent you are then they have a little more respect for you and they feel easy talking to you they feel more comfortable talking to you okay so you know they know that i'm classy but i got a little bit of i'll punch you in the throat in me you know what i mean anyways i was sitting down and there's a new principal after school she's been here for like a few years but you know a lot of the things are still new for her you know like a lot of the just i don't know she's been a principal before but whatever a lot of things change one being this is what the what the yard duty brought up to me now the yard duty brought this concern up to me is because if she brings it up to the district or the board of education wherever it needs to be brought up it's possible she could lose her job because this topic she said it shouldn't be talked about with parents or anything like that anyways she brought it up to me and she told me that the lunch times have been changed so the children now have a total not okay once you get to the cafeteria a total of 15 minutes from when you're released to walk from your classroom in a line to the cafeteria waiting in line in the cafeteria to get your food to sitting down a total of 15 minutes to do all that and finish your food 15 minutes come on now you can sit 15 minutes in a freaking drive through and not even get your food yet they have a total of 15 minutes to get out of their classroom, get in the lunchroom, grab their food, find a seat, and eat. And it all makes sense to me now because recently, like, okay, my son wants to bring his lunch to school. So I bring his lunch to school, and he'll come home, and, like, I'll pick him up from school, and he'll be like, oh, mom, I didn't finish this. I didn't finish this, so I'm going to eat it now. And in my head, I'm like, okay, maybe he wants to rush to play recess or whatever. Which sometimes is the case. A lot of the kids, even in the morning, I see kids that I know on a personal level because I know their parents. So I'll, I'll make them. Nuh-uh, you better take another bite of cereal. Okay, you can't go to school hungry. Um, a lot of the kids were like, I'm full, so they'll go play. But they literally have 15 minutes, you guys. 15 freaking minutes to do all that. And it's not, it's not good. Our kids aren't eating. They're hungry. Kid, parents get called calls from school all the time saying your kid's hungry you know and let alone their lunch starts at 11 30 so they start taking kids in like before this new principal lunch used to start at like 10 55 now they have about a, over 30 minutes that they're they're missing so now they're trying to make up for it by cutting their lunch time you guys so i don't like that that's kind of an issue for me um I mean, I'm going to see how it goes. I mean, my baby boy is a bigger baby boy. So maybe it's, hey, if he gets cut, if lunch time's cut, then he'll do him better. <laughs> but um, I don't know, you know. And then kids are choosing to not even eat their lunch because if I only have a little bit of time, I want to rush to play, you know. So that's not good either. So I don't know. And then there's even a case where a child ate so fast he went onto the blacktop and vomited on another child you guys oh my god he threw up on another child threw up from the mouth his lunch on another child so anyway she was like so kind of like a you know this is you know a lot of parents are complaining they said an email was supposed to go out about it but we never received it but you know I'll do me for her and I'll write up a good email because, you know, I'm good at that. You know, I'm the type of bitch to where 
I'm good. I will, I will slice you with my words. You know what I mean? Like, I'm good at that shit. Like, I'm good at putting a, putting a suit on with a briefcase and emailing the fuck at you. You know what I mean? I will... I will... Like, for real. I'm good at um, using my words. I'm very intelligent when it comes to um, performing emails, um, bringing issues directly, like in the email, you know, directing the issue, highlighting the issue, wham, bam, I get it done. And it comes out so good and, and, and across, it comes out so direct and immediate that it really captivates people. So I'll do an email, you know, because it's not right, you know, before, when the other principal was there, it wasn't like that. So if that was working, why change it? Why change it? So that's, something that I'm gonna do I'll just stop yeah you guys I don't know I mean the school he goes to is a very good school but sometimes you know it needs different different management different it needs to go a different direction you know but yeah not to pull to the sense of voice cool Ooh, so maybe okay so I'm gonna go ahead and pull up to a school I don't want to let too much of my location out but I'm going to go pull up to a school I'll drop his belt off and I'll see you guys when I get back I'm at the 99 cent store you guys and look how cute four pack table placement sets and it's $2.99 and this one comes with four of them they have different colors no, like that. Yesterday they had like a gray over here. Look how cute. Isn't that so cute? Then you can get like some pot holders to match it. Dish mats. This is like you can put inside your drawers at home and stuff like that. This is for two vinyl top liner. I have these in my cupboards. Look, you guys, there's even been videos where people are using this stuff for to refurnish their floors their walls i heck i want to do one like that i think i'm gonna um refurnish my kitchen cupboards and stuff but i don't know if i'm gonna use it for um use it with the dollar tree stuff but or not sister stuff but like these are hella cute what kinds of little stuff like this that you can get for cheap Look at all this other home decor stuff they have, you guys. They have like these where you can put your keys on. Even this one, it says best family ever. So, so cute. Play rugs. You want to get your fitness on. I love Dollar Tree. I mean, this is 99 cent store. I love 99 cent store. And this is the area that really, really gets me like, mm -hmm. They had some like this, but I'll see this. I think this is so cute. That would match my house too. But look at these plush toys too. There's some kind of elephant. Look. These are $9.99. And it's like an elephant stool. I want to be cute like a nursery or something. How freaking cute. Do you know what really irks me, you guys? Is sorry, this lash is hanging off for dear life, but you know what irks me is when like okay so i was by the food earlier and you know there's this lady purchasing food and i'm behind her and i need to get past her and she's standing right in the middle eating the fucking grapes she has in her cart like bitch uh, that like that gets me up here like oh you nasty bitch you better buy those two and not put them back stink ass hoe but yeah you guys you can literally get anything at the sign sister you guys like look at this Oh, I ain't trying to drop it, but like this brand dish, this is a good brand too. It's pretty thick. It's glass too. And then they have this one for 99 cents, which is good too. It's glass. But yeah, so I love freaking coming here. Like I come here every day because you don't know what they're going to come out next. I mean, look, they even have, look at these like little rugs, you guys, like. Do That's actually really cute. $7.99 though. Mm. 
I'm like on the fence with a lot of stuff. But look at these cute, beautiful little, like this. Oh my God, I love, 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 love. But yeah, I just came here just to shop and see what's here. If there's anything new that I haven't looked at. These little things are cute. A little table, you can put anywhere on your fireplace, table, anywhere. This one that says, bless this home. I think it's really cute, really, really cute. They even got your pets covered, you guys. They got some Caesars for them bougie ass dogs to like filet mignon. My dog's just a basic bitch and she likes the dog chow, but I get her the big bag. I don't, I bought it here once, but usually, um, like she's a smaller dog. So like a 10 pound bag will, last for a year so i usually go to walmart and get her that hey you guys i am back after the 99 cent store i went to i went to um fuko and i got i usually don't buy my meat from there because i just don't but i got some chicken wings the, like the party ones because I'm gonna make them in my air fryer today for dinner because I was like, oh, I'm craving some wings. And I got uh, so some chicken wings and then I'm gonna make like different flavors I always do. So I'm really craving these buffalo, red hot buffalo. So I'm gonna make this and then I also have, mm, these are bomb. This is garlic ranch from McCormick. Then I am going to make what uh, garlic jalapeno which is bomb and yeah i think i'm just gonna do that that's what i'm gonna do and i'm gonna make that with some red robin fries and my son's obsessed with corn he'll eat it with everything so i'm gonna make him some corn in a cup too and yeah that's what i'm going to do and i get the party wings because my husband doesn't like the full wing like he doesn't like this part this part of the wing i love that part of the wing because that's the best i love those wings period i also got this is very rare for me to purchase it is very rare for me to purchase oh girl get your weave together very rare for me to purchase soda but i got some root beer that's the heavy oh. And I got me some Pepsi, some wild cherry, cherry Pepsi. I don't really like cherry Coke, but the Pepsi is my favorite. And when I do drink pop, I drink the Pepsi, the wild cherry. <laughs> I've been practicing that, y'all. You proud of me? It, they were four for five dollars. I got two more. I got DP, Dr. Pepper, if you didn't know, yeah, now you know. And a regular Pepsi because my hubby doesn't really like cherry. And then... Of course, I got oh, jalapeno. You guys, I really need. Oh, I need to watch what I eat, you guys, and it's so hard. But, anyways, yeah, that's that. And yeah, that's what I did for today. I'm probably going to be in for the rest of the day. Going to make some dinner and clean up and pick up before. It's time for me to get my son. So I just wanted to close this vlog out for you guys. I know it's a small little vlog, but you know, I wanted to say hi, bring you guys with me. Pe oh, this is the one of the sweatshirts I got from my thrift store, Goodwill Haul. I got it for $8.99. So if you want to know my my other um, finds that I got that day, which were Victoria's Secret and Nike, go ahead and watch that video. Go back to my page, scroll down, and you will find it. Watch it after this video, though. But anyways, you guys, yeah, I'm going to be in for the rest of the day. Um, I just brought you guys with me, my little morning routine, taking my son to school, always forgetting something, having to go back. But, yeah, I'm going to be in for the rest of the night. I'm just going to get dinner going and pick up around the house before I, it's time for me to get my son. Um, with that being said... Do not forget to leave without subscribing, you guys. I appreciate it. Do not forget to ring that bell so you can get notified every time your girl posts a new video. Make sure the um, notification is set to all so you guys can get notified every time I drop some cheese, man, and you guys won't.
be left out. With that being said, I love you guys all so much and I'll see you in the next video. Mwah.